Hi. I went to Japan. <laughs> and recorded almost nothing of it, okay? Hey, guys. It's your idiot YouTuber, Mac, who's very bad at being a fucking YouTuber. Who knew? I went to Japan. This is fast as I went inside your mom. What? Who said that? Not me, girl. I'm gay. How dare you? Now, I don't want this video to be as long as my dick. Uh -huh. Mainly because I literally did not record much. I took a lot of photos, though. Did not take a lot of videos. You know, everyone around me, I think, was really okay with the idea of me, like, recording them and all that stuff. I still felt I don't want to cross a boundary by accident. You know what I mean? <laughs> I went to Japan. In a video saying I was taking a break, I mentioned about a trip that I was doing to Japan that anyone can join. It wasn't cheap, girl. But it was a fun time. People enjoyed it. And now I want to talk about it. There was 15 of us Bow. in total, including Bow. me, my dad, and my boyfriend. Bow. You get to finally see what my dad looks Bow. like. There he is, right there, in that corner, Bow. and right there. You're welcome. That's him. My father is in my life. I've been seeing some comments of people jumping to conclusions, and um, I just want to say, I read those. And I'm not going to call you racist, but at the same time, that assumption was pretty damn there. He doesn't do social media, so I never posted about him. Post on Pinterest. He's a Pinterest boy. Yes, he's straight. I'm so sorry to tell you that. Okay, but we went to Japan. 15 of us. We went to three cities, prefectures. Girl, I don't fucking know, okay? I don't know, okay? I am so sorry, Japanese people. I fully was not paying attention or fully analyzed how the geography of your country works, okay? I thought for the longest fucking time that Tokyo was a city. But no, it's a prefecture. Which is like their version of a state county situation, but different because they're a different country, you know what I mean? I didn't know that until literally like three days before I went to Tokyo. But we're going to Japan, right? <laughs> we went to Tokyo, bow, Osaka, bow, and Kyoto. Bow, bow. My favorite out of the three was Kyoto. Bow, bow. Even though we didn't have an entire day that was canceled in Kyoto, but that's not our fault. It's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. But anyways, but anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start over. Landed in Tokyo. Bow, bow. Met everyone, had a dinner. It was really cute. I picked my bow, hair out. For the first day, and the first day alone. For multiple reasons. And I will tell you that in a second. Second. I might even tell this being black in Japan because girl, we need to learn. We need to learn because there's things no one's telling us. No one fucking told me how human Japan was. When I tell, when I walked off that fucking Bow, air man. onto the floor and the grounds of Tokyo, Bow, a wall of sweat hit my body within five fucking seconds. A wall of sweat hit my body within five fucking seconds. The entire country of Japan feels like you're breathing through a pillow. But I loved it, girl. I loved it. The plants loved it, girl. That country is so bow, fucking bow. green. I picked my hair for the first night and the first night only. And when we got back to the hotel and I looked at myself in the mirror, I knew from that point on, this motherfucker is not leaving my head. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Kuta Kinte. Then we had our first official day in Tokyo the next day. A lot of walking. If you have never experienced life outside the United States, I'm gonna tell you this straightforward. A lot of fucking walking. Getting a license in a car in other countries that are older than this country is a lot harder. Because other countries that are older than this country have like no space for them. And Japan is fucking one of them. So a lot of walking, girl. So a really cool shrine with the wall of sake. We prayed there. We got an amulet. I don't know if I want to show you the amulet. I think I might jinx myself. But I need to research, girl. I don't know why. I am so sorry, Japanese people. I have literally just walked into your country. With no understanding of your culture. Like, do you understand how fucked up of me that was? <laughs> like, I full out American my ass through that country. I don't know how I survived eight days, but here I am today. I almost didn't survive, girl. Okay, that fucking humidity. Let's get back to it. The breeze in that country was my only fucking savior. There was moments when there was no fucking breeze, and the sun was just beating Bow. down. No clouds in the sky. And I tried to walk two feet, and I would literally feel my lungs collapse. I literally could not breathe. There was no breath going into my body. Oh, <laughs> wall sake. Bow. Took a photo in front of that. Then we went on a big food wow. tour. Ate a shit ton of food. A shit ton of seafood. Wow. That was expected, okay? If you're in Japan, I know you're gonna be eating a bunch of seafood. That's your fault, okay? I don't know why. Okay, do your research, okay? <laughs> be a professional in wow. Japan wow. culture. What are you talking about? I had a food tour call the night, went to sleep. A lot of people were doing shit after, and I wanted to join them, right? Like, I wanted to join. Like, my mind was like, yes, let's go wild, let's go fucking ham. But my body, girl, my body was telling me no. The opposite of R. Kelly. My body was saying go to fuck the sleep. Age is more than a number, girl, and you are increasing yours and you are tired. But it's even funnier for me to say that because the vast majority of people that went were older than me. Shut up. Shut up, okay? I am multi-generational, YouTube internationally traveled. Award-winning, award-winning. <laughs> Next day we go to what is like the bow, oldest bow, temple bow, in all of bow, Tokyo, bow. in the city Asakusa, Asakusa, Asakusa. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm so, Japanese people, I'm sorry. So we go to Ass Kiss. Did not like it that much, okay? I have to say, the introverted me was having a problem. The introverted me jumped out real quick. So bow, fucking bow, bow. crowded, I wanted to die. We were also there like in the middle of like some very special traditional festival where they like celebrate their ancestors. So there was a lot of people specifically in the traditional areas of 
Tokyo, wearing a lot of traditional wow. getup in front of these historical temples, walking around having like full ass photo shoots. I don't know if that's a normal thing that happens every day in Japan, or if that was a thing that was happening more than usual because of the festival that we apparently were walking in on. But a lot wow. of people, very hot and humid, could barely breathe. I got a headache, girl. I was not prepared for the second day. That's all I'm gonna say. I was not prepared for the second fucking day. Then we had a sushi making class, and that was like the funnest thing I ever experienced in my entire life. Okay, I never thought I can enjoy making sushi so much, but I enjoy making sushi so much. They gave me a knife. They gave me a knife, girl. They gave me a knife. And then they took it away from me real quick, real quick, real quick. I don't know why. And after ass kiss up, we ended up taking a transport to Kyoto. We originally, we were supposed to take the bullet train, bullet train, wow. Girl, girl, I was so fucking excited. I was about to be the most annoying person singing that Choo Choo So song for the whole two hours, okay? I swear to God. But when I tell you we landed into Japan in the middle of a fucking typhoon, we landed in Japan in the middle of a fucking typhoon, okay? The bullet trains were suspended. The thing about the bullet train system is that it's very fucking fragile to the weather because it's a fast moving object. It has to be careful. Heavy ass rain while it's still hot as fuck. So you're just constantly dink. Constantly dink. Constantly. If I wasn't wet from the rain, even when having an umbrella, I was wet from my fucking sweat. I lost pounds. That's what I'm gonna say, okay? So I'm kinda happy. <laughs> but instead of taking the two hour bullet train, we end up having to take an eight hour bus bow, ride through the countryside bow. of Japan to make it to Kyoto. If you told me eight hour bus ride in California, I would have cried to death. But an eight hour bus ride in Japan, was kind of a fucking vibe, I'm not gonna lie. Being able to see like the countryside bow, bow, of Japan, bow, bow, the hills, the mist slowly rolling in, touching the sides of the fucking hills as we were passing by on their highways. I could have nutted, okay? I could have nutted and then probably got arrested for sexual harassment because girl, why the fuck am I nutting in a bus? <laughs> we make it to Kyoto, Ooh. eight hour trip. The next morning, we end up getting taken to Nishiki, Nishiki Market. Nishiki, Nishiki, Nishiki. I'm sorry. Japanese people, I'm so sorry. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to apologize during this. But we went to, Nishiki. which while there, I came to learn, is a market that's existed on record since the 1600s, but according to like historians, has basically been around since the year 768. Girl! <laughs> so it's a very long, bow, traditional, bow. very old market that's been well refurbished. That's the one thing about Japan, I noticed. A lot of the shit is like older than basically humanity itself. But a lot of the shit is so well preserved, so well refurbished, specifically their temples, look brand fucking new, even though they existed since before Jesus, okay? So we're going through this really old traditional market. It's not just a market anymore. There's so many stores bow, and shops bow, that have like congregated around this specific bow, old ass market that the area we still in Kyoto was basically like this huge shopping mecca. Very small, very skinny, okay? My fat ass was having some time. Our American asses were having a time, okay? We were big people, okay? Us Americans, we are big ass people. There were times where we were climbing into elevators that said limit 15, only eight of us could get in, and the elevator would literally tell you someone needs to get off. It would literally tell you that. It would say someone needs to get off right the fuck now. Not the fuck now, but like close, okay, girl? I, was, I felt like I was yelled at, I felt like I was called fat, okay? 15 Japanese people equal eight Americans. Makes sense. <laughs> and then we went sake bow, tasting, bow. which I think was my dad's favorite thing in the entire itinerary. Everyone loved my dad, by the way. I hope, I think, I believe, it looked like it. My dad is a lovable guy. He's just quite a dork. He's a dork. He's a fucking dork. He has five master degrees and he's a rocket scientist. My dad is a dork. Okay, I'm gonna say that out loud. <laughs> Went sake tasting, got yelled at by some hyperactive yeah. AI robot. Three of us decided we were gonna go to a shrine that's apparently like really popular, really well visited. Did not know the shrine was on top of the biggest hill in Kyoto, overlooking the most hauntingly beautiful looking cemetery I've ever seen in my entire life. And also infested with mosquitoes. I got bit the fuck up. But it was cute. We got some good views, wow. good selfies, wow. covered in sweat and shit, but we looked cute. Thank God. To the heavens. There are literally vending machines everywhere. Everywhere in the parts of Japan we were in. Vending machines every few or so feet, girl. And every vending machine had like 20 wow. drinks wow. in it. And then you walk into like the 7-Eleven or a family mart. I kind of liked it. Very organized. It made me feel like someone thought this shit through. Okay? That's what Japan felt like the entire time. Traveling outside America makes you realize how much these older ass countries that have been around for a long 
long fucking time have thought quite a handful of things that we have problems in America till today. They had years on us to think shit through and to organize shit in the way they were. And then we're out here bringing AK-47s at each other like it's no tomorrow. <laughs> Next day, we traveled to Osaka, which is like an hour and a half bus ride. According to the people around Japan, not this is not what I'm saying, okay? This is what our guides told us. Tokyo is apparently considered the area for like nah, and busy bow, people bow. and stressed out people like New York. And Osaka, bow. the direct opposite. Everyone's more happy, bow. everyone's more relaxed, eating bow, and drinking bow. all the time. And I fucking believe it because the amount of restaurant in Osaka alone I felt like I didn't try everything I was supposed to when I was there. Bro, I was in food heaven. The food in Japan is fucking amazing. The fried chicken, bitch. The fried fucking chicken, bitch. And I'm not, I, this is not me being stereotypical. This is just me being a person in general. The fried fucking chicken wow. in Japan is absolutely amazing. I don't know what patterns they have created, what technique they use, but that motherfucking fried chicken wow. out of this motherfucking world. So juicy, so well seasoned, so motherfucking delicious. What the absolute I was having fried chicken almost every damn day, by choice. Okay, by choice. I was searching for it. So we turned around some shop. A photo in front of this side building sign of like a Japanese Olympian posing because everyone else was doing it, so I just wanted to hop on board. Went on another food tour. Ate a bunch of tempura. Had a little Japanese-Korean barbecue situation. I don't know what it was called. Broke up the whole store that half of our group had to like walk out and go get other food because they literally couldn't breathe. I was almost one of them, girl. Don't worry. And then we ended up calling a day. That was the end of our trip. Overall, it was really cute. It was a really fun time. I really enjoyed it. Going on a tour trip with a bunch of queer kids was really fun. I really highly recommend it for anybody. Even the allies, girl, even the allies. Okay, we're fun people. There are some people in the group that were even saying this is the most queer people they've ever been around in their entire life. And I'm very happy to have given people the opportunity to experience that. And that was literally one of the reasons why I wanted to go on this trip. Probably gonna do another one. I never once felt pressured by anyone. I don't know how to describe it. Everyone was excited to be in Japan. Everyone had things they wanted to do, things they wanted to accomplish. And I basically just tagged along everyone else's shit. But let me answer the most harrowing question that I got ever since coming back from Japan. How was it being a black person in Japanese territory? Let me tell you. Not bad at fucking all. I've heard stories from my fellow Negroes about when they visited Japan, specifically Tokyo, but I am starting to believe that the reactions and the response they were getting from people were from people that weren't originally from the area of Tokyo. Because no one in any of the big cities I went to really gave a shit. I mean, I did get stares, okay? I did get I did get a few stares, a few, a few long lasting looks, but no one ever approached me. I was also uh, mainly with a group of people most of my time, so that was probably the reason why. I would say people looked more excited to see me. But there was never any like ignorance, I guess. I never experienced any ignorance. On the day I did pick my afro out and walked outside, I was getting a lot of people smiling at me. I think afros aren't a thing people see on a normal basis in Japan. People seem to be very excited to see one. And I know in my experience of Japanese stuff, afros are very like cartoonish and like kind of comical. So I think that's what people felt when they saw me in my afro. They felt like joy. They seemed very joyful to see a man walking around with an afro. But also, they're probably very worried that a man was walking around with an afro because that fucking humidity girl, I was dreaming. Ripping. Also, I saw some Japanese people with some dreadlocks. And I was very fascinated because it's one thing having hair of that texture, but to like make your hair look like the same texture as mine, knowing for a fact that it's not even close to it, I was like, how the fuck did you get there? Like, what did you do? Did that hurt? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know how to describe it. I didn't experience people like touching me, rubbing on my skin. I've seen videos about that. I am a very big black man. I don't know if y'all met me, but some of y'all met me in real life now, and I'm quite a thicky black man. I don't think people like to approach me. I also like how the country seemed to be in this like swing of like criminalizing the idea of disrespecting women in any shape or form. Like in Tokyo, they had specific carts on the subway that were for women only, to like help prevent groping and sexual harassment. Apparently that was like a problem in the history of Japan. I mean, that's a problem in the history of everywhere, girl. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. That is my Japan trip. Don't want to waste- Ooh, calm down. Calm down, you're drunk. You're drunk, too much sake for you. And I really want to do this again. They were talking to me about an option of doing another trip next year to a different country. I already have two countries in mind, but I do want more input. There will be a link down in the description below for a survey. You have to be 18 and over, I'm very sorry. And you have to be practical 
all about. You're gonna give me the countries you wanna visit and the general range of the price you are willing to pay to visit and have an actual guided tour in this country. Let me put emphasis on that. A guided tour. You're going to be paying someone to spend an X amount of days to travel with you to multiple cities in one country. Don't be saying, I want to go to Italy for $100, girl. That does not exist. Not on Trouble Tree. But yeah, the link will be in the description. Give me your thoughts. Give me where you want to go. Maybe I'll see you in Italy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's Greece. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's Australia. We don't know, girl. But anyways, I am going to go. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. My my name is Megan. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. Woo!